Okay, friends, today for reading, I'm going to go through all of the reading assignments. I'm just going to keep it basic. Here are all the things you're going to need for reading today. Okay, so the phonics pages, a pencil, your writing paper, the book from Monday called A Sweet Tale, and the sequencing page for the story. Let's start with phonics. First, let's go through and read these words. It's the third day, friends, so I'm going to read them pretty quickly. Try to say them with me and follow along. Hip, ship, hop, shop, hot, shot. Here's the words with the sh sound at the end. Fish, wish, dish. Rash, crash, trash. Okay, line three. Hat, that. Hen, then. His, this. Number four. Now we're going to find some of the words at the beginning and at the end. The first word is mat. See how it's just a T L by itself? Mat, math. Bat, bath. They don't rhyme anymore, do they? No, because they don't have the same ending. Tin, thin. Let's read the sentence. We like to shop a lot. I don't. <laughs> Number six, the ship is big. Great job. Review. I see some R blends in the beginning. Tur, tur, ick, trick, grass, grass, swim, st, eps, steps, sk, ip, skip, full, ip, flip, get, beds, cups, rock, dog, locks. Did I go too fast? It's okay, you can always pause it and slow down if you need to. And the last words. Notice how the ending is changing from fish. What's different? There's an ing at the end. Fishing, wish, wishing, dish, dishes. <laughs> okay, now let's break apart words. Remember, when we break them apart, it's called segmenting. When you see this picture, Listen carefully for the next word. Shh. P. What did you hear? Shh. Ah. Uh, What's the word? Shop. Okay. Let's try this one. Shh. Eh. Oh. What's the word? Shell. And this time I'm going to say the word, friends, and I want you to break it apart. Oops, I went too far. Let's try that again. <laughs> mm, is. What's, what word do you hear? Did you say this? If you did, you are correct. This time, let's break apart the word cash. Say cash. Now break apart those sounds. K, a, sh, cash. Say path. P, a, th. Look at the pictures and you're going to break apart the sounds to separate them into each box. The word is ship. Sh, i, Write the letters that make that sound. Fish, fish, bath. Okay, do that yourself. Okay, now down at the bottom, I'm gonna say some words. If you need to pause, I want you to, I'm gonna say number one, I'm gonna say the word, and then I want you to pause your video and write that word. Number one, the word is Cash. Write the word cash on number one. What sounds do you hear? K, 
ah, shh. Remember what makes the shh sound. Pause it if you need to. I'm going to keep going. Number two, the word is ship. No, let's not do ship. I just add that on the top. How about the word shake? Sh, ache, shake. Pause, write the word. When you're ready for number three, here we go. Number three, write the word rash. Rash. Pause, write the word. Hit play when you're ready. Number four, write the word with. Okay. And for number five, write a sentence. Listen to my sentence, boys and girls. Are you ready? Okay, we're on number five. Here we go. I take a hot bath. That's a lot. I take a hot bath. There are some sight words in there and some new words from phonics. And the last thing you're going to do in phonics today is your word ladder. Okay? So I'm going to say this for you too. You don't need a grown up to help you with this, but pause anytime you need to stop and slow down. We're starting here at the bottom of the ladder. What's the word? Hip, hip. Now we're going to change one letter to how a rabbit will move from place to place. How does a rabbit move? They hop. How can we change the word hip to make it say hop? Did you write it like this? H-O-P, hop, hop. If you did, you are correct. Okay, change one letter. What do you do at a store? I'm looking at our ladder and I'm noticing there are four spots for letters. That tells me, what do we do at a store? We shop, we shop. Write the word shop, shop. Okay, change one letter. Remember friends, you can slow down. You can pause me anytime and go at your own pace. Look at the word shop, shop. Now change one letter to make it into a word that people take trips on the water in this. If you're gonna take a trip on the water, what would you go in? Shh. I'm gonna give you a clue. You're gonna change that vowel from ah to i. What's the word? Shh, did you say ship? If you did, you are correct. Oop, I went ahead, sorry. You can put a carrot in this, <laughs> dip. And the last one, Chain, um, take away one letter and you're gonna add two letters. Mm. Put your food on this. What do you put your food on? A plate? Oh, but that doesn't make sense. Hmm. What if I take away the P and I add SH at the end? What does SH say? Shh. So D IP go turns into D ish dish. If you wrote dish, you are correct. Great job. Remember, pause, slow down, do what you need to do, friends. Okay. And the next thing for reading today, I'm not going to do this with you, but I want you to read a sweet tale, keep track of the things that happen in order. There are eight events in this story. Your job is to look at the pictures after you cut them, glue them in order. So what was the first thing that happened in the story? Cut out that picture, glue it on number one. Can you use your book to help? Absolutely. That's what good readers do. They go back and check for answers in their book. That's great. So use your book to help you. You don't have to remember it by yourself. And your last job for reading today is to write three or more sentences about what you like to do in winter. I would be really impressed if you started with a topic sentence. So that might sound like this. Winter is a fun time for kids. Or I love 
playing in winter. And then name, like the first sentence might be, I go sledding down my hill in winter. I build a snowman in winter. I go ice skating in the winter. I, oh, what else do we do in the winter? Build a snow fort, have a snowball fight, go skiing, go ice fishing. That's my favorite thing to do in winter is ice fishing. If you haven't done it, you should try. Think about three, at least three things you could write about what you like to do in winter. And friends, it doesn't have to be three different things. You could write about the one thing. I love ice fishing, so I could write three good sentences about ice fishing. I could tell what we do, how I do it, um, what I like to bring with me, what does our fish house look like, all those fun things, okay? So you might want to just pick one thing that you like about winter and then write three sentences just about that. That would probably be a better idea because then you're staying on the right topic. And last, friends, read for 20 minutes. Read, 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 read on rest kids. Read with a grown-up. Sit on their lap. Sit next to them on the couch. But listen to a good story. All right? And then when you're done with that, you are done with reading for the day. Sounds like a lot of work, but I know you can do it, friends. You're becoming such great readers.